Hello and welcome to Hey, I Loved That Movie, the podcast where we rewatch the films we loved when we were younger to see if they still hold up. I'm Dan. I'm Michael. And I'm Helena. And for this episode, we watched Lady and the Tramp. Yeah, 1955, not the live action version, yeah. which I didn't this, know existed. This does not have the, the song in it that I thought. I thought when they were eating pasta, it was the um, That's Amore song that, that plays. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> I have been gaslit <laughs> into You've thinking Gaslit that. yourself. <laughs> I feel yeah. like that's a, not a, what's it called, a Mandela effect? Yeah. Probably, it's yeah. It's just a bad memory. I think you heard an Italian song. And yeah. The only Italian song I can remember is <laughs> That's Amore. No, yeah, it's, exactly, it's... about the eel. Um, yeah. So we might as well start with saying <laughs> this film is problematic. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got that lovely thing where you click, yeah. oh, I want to watch this on Disney. It says, hey, this shit's fucked. There's something about... <laughs> Unskippable introduction. Yeah. yeah. There is Warning. something about dog films from the 90s to early 2000s and just anti-Asian racism. There's yeah. a very strong Well, this is 1955, so this is, this is old yeah, school. Yeah, this is early. That's true. And I've, early I've, got to, I've got to say, Aristocats felt more racist. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, like, yeah. They're both not yeah. great, but in terms of, you know, scale... <laughs> It's more over. I, well, I, yeah. I feel like it's it's a sort of a race to the bottom, really, mm, isn't yeah. it? With the ra- how racist can we make these cats? Yeah, yeah, um, not great. Um, but this one, it, this one doesn't stop at cats. I mean, it's it's fairly racist. To, it it does sort of spin the wheel and land on various countries. Yeah, it definitely uh, has a lot more effect than I thought it would. Um, what was what was your guys' history with this? Because I, I mean, I'm sure I've mentioned this before. Um, but every time I watched this as a kid, I wouldn't make it to the end because I would cry my eyes out at the scene where they're in the pound. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. Yeah, yeah, it's very sad. And I mean, as a kid, I didn't even realise that, you know, they, they don't get out of there. It killed the dog. Yeah, I this is... So I didn't realise how much nostalgia I had for this film until the first note of the soundtrack <laughs> and the opening credits hit. And then it was like yeah. mainlining nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> like it, it sent a shockwave of nostalgia through me. And I was like, oh, shit. It, it, it's easily been over 20 years. Yeah. Since you I've and nostalgia it. started eating that same bit of spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I I, rem- I have such vivid memories of watching this film as a as a little as a very little girl. I have now incredibly cringy memories of singing the We Are Siamese song as a yeah. little girl <laughs> and thinking it was great and the cats were really like really good bad guys. If that makes sense, yeah. like I thought they were excellent villains. Yeah, and not awful racial stereotypes. Yeah, because um. I mean, for a long time as a child, I'm pretty sure I didn't know what Siam was because my mm. only context was twins and those cats. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was definitely the same. I was, yeah, Obviously. mainly the cats. I, I didn't have that much experience with Siamese twins as a kid. <laughs> well, I think it was just in the Guinness World Records book or whatever. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, Ripley's <laughs> Believe It or Not. That was the one. That was the one for that, that kind of it. thing. That was the one that got you. Yeah. yeah. Um... I feel like those kinds of books were much more popular back then. Yeah, yeah, now you've the internet. The internet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember just being horrified at the one, the lady with the longest fingernails world record. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that was, that was an upsetting photo in the book. Um, or the most amount of, like, piercings. Or that was really, a bad really photo. ridiculously that, long hair. Yeah. That photo was kind of drilled into my brain. But this film, mm. my God, this film. Yeah. Also drilled outside. into my brain, but, like, nicely. Yeah, outside of the fucking. Why say that? Thing. I'd forgotten, like, the whole plot. Oh well, I remembered. I, re- I remembered that the that she saves them from the rats at the end. But I'd forgotten the whole like um. I'd I'd completely blanked out the pound scene. Yeah, I um like that. That destroyed me again. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I th- I thought that the rat scene happened sooner, and that's why she gets out and no, starts dating that's the tramp. The big finale. But no, she gets kicked out because these two these two parents have a kid and like. A week later, yeah. decide to fuck off for a few days. <laughs> yeah, because you know, you know the fifties, you didn't have to have proper childcare. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't. It, it, I think she's the the baby's not that young. 
No, but it's um, still because they've already introduced her and like they're yeah. they're very confident with how she is around the baby, and yeah. they think it's going to be fine. Like they're comfortable leaving their dog with the with the baby with their with a what well, yeah their auntie. Auntie Sarah, auntie. yeah, who bitch. turns out um, to be a massive bitch. <laughs> yeah, and um, Auntie Sarah's the one that's got the problem. She shoes the cat. She shoes the the dog out. Poor lady, hmm. and she. It, like the cats destroy the house and then blame it on her. It it does. I, I mean, you, the 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 bit where like the cats collapse like footballers and start like crying on the ground. Yeah. After um, like they get late when getting lady in trouble, I did think was still very good in this. Yeah, I bet that would have been fine like without that. the. Yeah, they didn't have to be overtones. Siamese. Like, yeah, they, they <laughs> didn't, and it's so bad. I didn't realize it, but it like it's not just the eyes, but the teeth and the way they speak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's oh, it's awful. Um, I just, uh, yeah, it was. I watched this in a very like heightened emotional position because I watched <laughs> yeah. this whilst looking after my the two dogs. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because we can't leave. We got a new uh, a new puppy, and we can't leave him alone because he chews stuff. He nicks things and chews them, so he has to be like <laughs> watched. So I was sat watching this film with two dogs what they're both res well one of them's a actual rescue one of them just came from a family that didn't know how to look after dogs and yeah it was very emotional <laughs> i'll bet yeah i think i think this film hits different after having a dog as well yeah um i oh, remember yeah. really really wanting a puppy because of this film Oh and yeah, I was fascinated with also the puppy license, like the dog license thing. That was well, yeah, really. needing to have <laughs> like, a license back like, then. Because that's yeah. just not a thing. In... Not at all. Now yeah, it'd yeah. be oh, time to get a microchipped. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I like to think the dogs don't understand. Um, but yeah, so she gets in the her yeah gets her licenses. It's lovely shiny. Dogs. But I my one of my favorite bits is the uh, at the start when he. She's um, a puppy. She's a puppy. She's the cutest fucking puppy ever. Oh, puppy. I'm just, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely the best animated. Ah, oh, he's gorgeous. Yeah, and oh, so the snow cute. and the yeah, opening the sn- shot yeah. with like the snow was so beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> and it, is, it starts and really like, gorgeous. It's a Christmas because oh. she's a Christmas present, and it is like you yeah. know, don't give your don't give your wife yeah. a Christmas present. Yeah. But she's not even like remotely surprised. She's like, oh how did you, like it's, it's did like, you mean don't give your wife a dog for because you just said don't <laughs> give your wife a Christmas present? That's not right. <laughs> ever. <laughs> it's a really bad idea. Yeah, yeah Helena is the cause of many divorces. <laughs> <laughs> Helena is a tight bitch. Um... <laughs> not into Christmas. um i did know that the uh yeah not a lot of holes in the box and we don't know how long the the dog is in because it kind of implies that they've opened all their presents bar that one we're gonna yeah well you assume that he like just put the dog in and then yeah of course (laughs) because the dog is fine yeah and she's like oh because the dog's in a hat box and she's like oh is this the hat i was looking at and then he's like oh no it's got a ribbon and she's got a massive ribbon around her neck and she's so, so cute. cute um but yeah uh, they're ha- so they they're trying to they she's gonna supposed to sleep downstairs in front of the yeah. oven yeah um, i like how they give her a little bed and then he's like oh hang on and remembers to put down a bit of newspaper for her to yeah. shit on <laughs> <laughs> i love the art oh, just that is new owner optimism though yeah it's fine <laughs> The dog like, will go here. Doctor, <laughs> yeah, he never shits. <laughs> and like the amount of time I've heard people with dogs getting new dogs and saying the dog is going to never get on the bed. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. And and that that's Just my favourite the... part is that it it's like she, the baby the, the baby dog or the puppy even is making this huge fuss. She doesn't want to be left alone because she's a little baby puppy. Little puppy. And she's and howling it's, it's... and the howling goes right through you. It's very oh. genuinely howling. I'm sure the dogs were like looking at you like. Why aren't you helping that little puppy, Mikey? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, no, that <laughs> happened. So one of my dogs is a rescue rescue, and like she's very motherly. <laughs> For reasons I will not get into, but she's very, very like she mothers everything smaller than her. Even like the next door neighbor has a a, a tortoise and she mothers it. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, and she mothers her toys and her teddies and all that stuff. And as soon as she heard that crying, she ran over to me and she kind of stood there. Yeah. Like, looking what the around fuck you, why aren't you helping like, this puppy <laughs> i a lot through a lot of this film i had to speed through <laughs> because it was making the dogs <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> i had to like mute and like turn it down because it was making my dogs uncomfortable and that was like 
She was full on like in mum mode, ready to yeah, help. Trying to find the Aww. trying to find the helpless little puppy. Anyway, they they're like um. So I love also that the 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 her owners are called John Deere and Darling because that's yeah. how they refer to each other. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> you it's also so never cute. see their faces. Well, no, because she's quite low to low to the ground. But yeah, because she's other... a cocker spaniel, right? Yeah. yeah. You see and, other um, adults. So he's faces, like, then. "Oh, all right then, just this once." Yeah. And she like curls up at the at the foot of the bed, and then it um the scene when she's opening her eyes is clear. It's like about six months later. Yeah. <laughs> and it's yeah, that's her spot on the bed now. Yeah, that every <laughs> single dog owner I've ever seen. He, we he did gets, that. He gets <laughs> mad at her as well, and he's like, "Oh, doesn't she know about Sunday mornings because they want a lion?" His fucking alarm clock went off. Don't set your alarm <laughs> for a Sunday morning, you idiot. Uh, well, yeah. That's <laughs> I was confused. Like, is the alarm go? Is it? Is it an alarm clock or is it like a a chime clock that chimes on the hour? Because like, does it stop at night? Oh, that would be so worse. Because be it horrible. it chime it ch- just chimes six times. It doesn't like go cuckoo cuckoo. Like, it doesn't like go, do an alarm. <laughs> do an alarm. Yeah. Alarm. The alarm doesn't go off. It it just chimes six times and the dog wakes up. Yeah. But it's like, why the fuck would you have that in your bedroom? Yeah, maybe it was. I just assumed it was uh, an alarm clock. <laughs> I I, I I think I think that people who can have ticking clocks in their in their bedrooms are psychopaths. I yeah, I struggled to sleep Just with a ticking clock anywhere clock. near me. Oh, do you remember sleeping over at Dan's when he had a ticking clock? It was the, in the living room. The that was worst. the worst. I mean, yeah, actually, was, no, that wasn't the worst part about staying in your flat. But no, the sofa was, was fucked. It was <laughs> yeah. it was the company. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was yeah. Ticking, uh, I can't stand I do remember the, the real trifecta of staying there when it was like the yeah the sofa was fucked, the ticking clock, and then the balloons everywhere that would just randomly yeah. explode in the night. Yeah, because you oh. decided to just fill the apartment with balloons. Yeah, because yeah, we hilarious. thought you'd we get were such rid of quirky them. teenagers. Yeah, it was. Funny. We thought you'd get rid of them eventually. <laughs> yeah. No, I just they... didn't realize you were going to let them pop themselves. Yeah. yeah. But then you have like the four, the secret fourth thing, which is when it's freezing cold. Yeah. Because your window didn't shut properly. No, it shut properly. It just wasn't double glazed. Yeah, it was. It's just an old. Yeah. Old building. Freezing. Like waking up with frost on top of you. <laughs> because well, it was that cold. I don't live there anymore. It's fine. No. And the jacket. I don't think we've doxed you by saying you in England. You lived in a cold, single glazed no. flat, and also much comfier sofa now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just um, in time for go. none of us. I think that's yeah. why I have back pain now, by the way. <laughs> um, and it yeah, this, never, ever fun. occurred to us to, like, chip in and get us, like, a little camp bed or anything like that. No. Well, it no. was also too small for that. Let's not pretend there was any room for <laughs> a camper. Well, like a no, small was... one. A fold-up one. I, was, I mean, to unfold it, there was not enough room for that. <laughs> a bit of shifting around. No, we're not doing Basically, that. Yeah. We're not doing that. <laughs> Remember when there were like 10 people sleeping in there? That's true, yeah. To be, to be yeah, fair, there were times when it was chaos like... because my place yeah. was the place everyone went. <laughs> For like, some yeah. reason. Yeah, everyone everyone else like... lived with their parents. <laughs> yeah. My parents yeah. would make people eat gritty spinach and... <laughs> Watch Jules Holland. Yeah. Oh, I remember the the time when I had to stay at yours because my electricity had died and we had pheasant for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Shut up, I'm working class. <laughs> Just a fucking bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know it's a fancy dinner when you've got to pick the book shot out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with an extra plate it's either a really shot. fancy dinner or a really not fancy yeah. dinner. <laughs> Well, it anyway, if it's pheasant or pigeon, yeah, oh yeah, tell the difference between those two things. <laughs> yeah, did did it fall down the chimney? <laughs> um, but yeah, this film, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's adorable, like from start to finish. It's, adorable. it's a it's a but, classic. Everyone but knows minus lady the, in the minus the minus yeah, the racing. Yeah, so the so lady is it's it's clear, you know. Not great at names, these people, but she's called Lady, and I think That's it's a fine dog name. How yeah, because they say, "Oh, she's such a little lady," so it's like yeah. that name just sticks. You know, That's a fi- like the best, the only good names for dogs are ironic ones. Mm. Great names. Naming a little tiny dog Shadow or like Demon, great. Mm. <laughs> Boring human names. Fuck it, met a dog named Clive. It was great. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> a dog like Keith or Dave. Yeah. Fucking Amazing. hilarious. <laughs> or things like Lady, or things like that. Good dog names, good general dog names. I'm only defending dog names because I've got a, 
I've got dogs called Dora and Fred. <laughs> you don't have yeah. to defend their names. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. I had a cat called Jess. I can't say anything. <laughs> yeah, I but. mean, I I had I named my my after anime character. Yeah, so, and now my rats are named after musicians. Great. I mean, you had the cats with the best names though, which were Taken and Hostage. Yeah, Taken <laughs> from an anime and Hostage because my mum thought Taken Hostage was funny, and then yeah. we realised at the vets they had to shout out Hostage Heath. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, but yeah, before that, that we had a cat called George. Oh, oh no, we had Honey and Shadow. Yeah, she had a great name. So her lady's a good name. And then her neighbours. Scotty, a... who is a, a Scotty, dog. Scottish Terrier. Scotty dog, yeah. And then Trusty, With, uh, who's a... A terrible Scottish accent? I don't for a second <laughs> believe the person who did that voice was Scottish. No. And a bloodhound. Mm. Yes, who's a bloodhound who's lost his sense, sense of smell. Of smell. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, he's rusty. not called Scott. He's called Jock. Jock, oh, yeah, yeah but he is a little Scotty dog, yeah. Yeah, he's a Scotty dog. And the oh yeah, he's from Indiana. <laughs> this little landed gentry bloodhound. Yeah. I I also kind of love that like this this is set nowhere. This is set in like a place. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely. Kind of it's it's vague. a it's the suburbs of a town that has a good end, like the posh the posh end and the bad end. Yeah, and but it must every... be quite big because it also has a zoo. And at least one person from every place in the world. Yes. <laughs> yes. I assumed are... it was London. <laughs> <laughs> but like, well, it never mentions it. <laughs> no. no, and it, it's very transatlantic. Yeah, mm. uh, but so... it feels it feels American in the way of the like the houses. Yeah, but everyone everyone posh is English. Well, is ladies posh. Yes, but she is she is she, is it. Is, she, is it an English accent or is it a transatlantic kind of accent that just uh, sounds maybe. more English maybe. to us now? Yeah. But it's mm. one of those ones that sounds. It just sounds posh and well spoken. I suppose mm-hmm. it does sound posh, and it's, it's not like here. it then goes to the other end where the tramp has like a proper like Cockney accent. <laughs> but there are there is a dog with a Cockney accent though. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. bulldog. Yeah, the bulldog. Yeah. yeah, tramp. I think it's yeah. It's it's a it's a place. It's just a place. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't um, it doesn't matter. But yeah, she has these friends that are very lovely to her, and then you have Tramp, who is a mutt. He is he's a street mutt. Yeah, he lives sort of in a train yard, and he goes wherever he wants for food, and he gets um he gets some he lives... breakfast from an Italian place. Which I'm, I, I mean, to be fair, I, I didn't think an Italian place would be open for breakfast. I don't really know what authentic yeah, Italian... Italian breakfast is. Breakfast sausages. There's Italian breakfast is pretty good. Have a nice um, like breakfast bolognese. Great. Um, well, the, Dan, breakfast restaurants, <laughs> just because you go to restaurants at dinner time doesn't mean that restaurants start working at dinner time. Yeah, no, they do have to prepare everything, <laughs> I know. There's quite a bit of chopping what? and cooking and stuff. I wonder what they got the bones out of for the dog. Because it's not from beef? the pasta. So. Beef, probably. <laughs> There's a lot of beef used in, yeah, in yeah. Italian cooking. Can't be chicken, yeah, pork, shatter. Pork bones, beef yeah. bones, lamb bones. Spaghetti bones. Spaghetti yeah. bones. Yeah. The pasta bones. bones. See, what you get is, um, well, pa- spaghetti is deboned pasta. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know, like the fusilli, like the round one, the like tubes. Yeah. yeah That's twisties. deboned because you can see where the bone was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't finished. They didn't close up the hole. You've sucked the marrow out. <laughs> recently deboned pasta. <laughs> but yeah, tra- Tramp is like, and company from Oliver and Company. He's living that life. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. again, it's the same argument as Oliver and Company, where it's like you've got freedom of being, a, basically being a stray, where you're, you, 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 you don't have any do commitments to a human. You can go where you want, when you want. Do what um, you want. The, the streets look after you. Like yeah, he's like saying, like, I go, I, where do I want to go for lunch? Where do I want to go for breakfast today? And he like lists a whole bunch of places and they all just give him scraps. Yeah. And then He's there's best the being loved by a human kind of side of it. Yeah. In this, being being a pet. In this town that seems to like everyone loves dogs apart from the aunt and the dog catcher. Yeah. Everyone else seems pretty okay with dogs. <laughs> um yeah, they... so it yeah. And and that I mean, yeah, I'd be okay with them. All the dogs in this are gorgeous and beautiful yeah. and lovely sweet boys who can't do anything yeah. wrong. Yeah, the uh, when you meet Tramp as well, there's a couple of dogs that have been put into the uh, dog catcher's van, and he manages to he like, free him. them. 
Yeah. Um, and then I do like when he's running away, he he goes to um, Snob Hill, which is where the uh, where Lady lives. I'm yeah. like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and he's like, wow, the best part, the upper part of life. Yeah. Where and, um, live. You find out that oh, darling is pregnant, and yeah. La- she's probably well, yeah. Lady's sad because like her 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 owners aren't treating her like they normally she wanted to go for a walk and the mum was like no yeah um, the the, the, the dad called her that dog um but take your dogs for a damn walk yeah that's yeah, very yeah, irresponsible that's having a child is not more important than a dog <laughs> well, and it's, can yeah it's one of those ones where it's like you can still walk and actually you really should walk as a pregnant woman but if She's... you can't walk the dog Get someone, get someone else, else to walk the dog. Yeah. Basically. So the dog still has their walk. Or at least yeah. take them out for a turn in the garden and give them lots of attention if you really can't do a walk that day. Yeah. You can still pay attention to your dog when you're pregnant. It's the yeah. 50s. They didn't have much else to do. Also, <laughs> don't... Yeah, she was knitting baby socks. Oh, that can yeah. fucking... You, you do you've got time. Woman. You're yeah. going to get loads of them anyway. Yeah. It's, and it's not like at that point she's heavily pregnant. No. Or they're just like, she is, and they don't want to show a larger woman on screen, because that would be ridiculous. Can't well, also, we only we very rarely see her from anything other than, like, the, like the knees. Yeah. But she, she's, it's just like, it's so annoying watching it and her be like, oh, I can't take you for a walk and blah, 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 blah. But then, like, don't not take your dog for a walk and then be surprised when they've got loads of energy. Yeah. Oh, people need to learn to look after dogs better. Yeah. They hadn't they hadn't mastered it in the uh, in the fifties. No, uh, but yeah, lady is like, what's a baby? And they're like, well, they're little, they're little humans, um, they're little tiny humans. Um, and the, but they're like, you won't be able to play with it, but they're very sweet and they're very very soft. And then the tramp's like, and they're a cute bundle of trouble. <laughs> he turns up like they're fucked. <laughs> they're gonna and ruin like, your life. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, like true, it's yeah, over it this it this it really it reeks of um he used to have, have an owner and then he got kicked out when they had kids. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That that seems pretty obviously his backstory now. Now watching it, you know, as an adult who can understand media, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Maya got you know, into when... that conversation with trauma. Yeah. <laughs> he came in trauma oh, first. Yeah. He feels this way because something bad happened to him. Yeah. He was like, um, they just ruin your life. Fucking get ready. So she, uh, anyway, they have the they have the baby, and actually things get better. She's a bit happier. They show her the baby, and because they trust her around the baby, yeah. and she like, and and she she looks, she's she's trying so hard to look on her little cocker spaniel legs, and she can't. Mm-hmm. And they lift her up, and she looks at the baby, and the baby looks, you know, pretty horrifying because oh, it's like so a scary. weird drawing. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. The, was, the babies, such... uh, the, uh, the other, the other animals, and the uh, the other adults and the, and the dogs are all like the the screen, and yeah. like I guess put um yeah ink on film rather than a background, and the baby's very clearly background. Yeah, yeah. it's too much it's not detail. moving, and it's just oh, it's like <laughs> it's too oh, much detail compared to everything really. else. Yeah, w- one um real. one shot that wasn't just like it felt like a bit of a flex from the um animators at this time was. When she's interested in going to see the baby and she's approaching the stairs and her reflection's in the mirror. Mm. And I was like, yeah. oh, that looks so, so well done of how well yeah. it matches up. <laughs> like, yeah, they added that just to show off. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like... Yeah, oh, the scene where she's going up the stairs, though, and her little feet like do not connect with the stairs in any way at any point, <laughs> I thought was... Uh, but, it, I mean, it's charming. Like, I don't have a problem with it at all. No. Like, they put all the it's... money into the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> But she's oh she's such a good girl. And then so they they fuck off and leave their baby with Aunt Sarah. Um, yeah. And it doesn't. It, I don't. I disagree that it's like straight away. I reckon like it, it's probably like yeah. This is their first time away from the baby. Yeah. And gone for it. They're, I mean this this film's not got a huge time span for like this drama part. Is like what is it two or three nights? Yeah. Yeah. They've gone for a couple of days. And um, so she's Cause, cause she leaving. comes upstairs and, and um, she's like, "Lady's furious with him." She's like, "Where the yeah. fuck are you going?" She's like, "Oh, <laughs> fuck like, it's okay, we'll be back. Auntie Sarah's going to be here to look after the baby and you." Yeah. Um, and Auntie and... Sarah is a massive bitch. Yeah, and Auntie Sarah awful. is a grade A cunt. Like she yeah, picks she up just... the baby and goes, "Ah, oh, the dog is scaring him." She then she picks up the baby, starts screaming at the dog. The baby starts crying. And she's like, "Wow, the dog is making the baby cry." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, um, you and awful. I mean, that's one of the things where it is like this attitude of like 
you can't have dogs and cats around. But what's weird is that she's got the cats, where it's like, oh yeah, because the cats can be around a baby. They're her cat, and they're racist, and they're allowed. But it used to be, a, and it still is, like, some people still do it. It's like, when you get pregnant, it's like, so what are you going to do about the cat? Because of things like toxoplasmosis, and, yeah. you know, just dirt and diseases, and it's like, oh, you can't have that around the baby. Um, now I think there's been lots of studies to show that having a cat and a dog or whatever is actually quite good. As long as you're... As long as they're not, like, allergic. Or as long as you're, like, careful. Yeah. Because our Make dogs sure the are... cat doesn't, like, lie on <laughs> the kid's face <laughs> in the night. They also yeah. are still animals and behave as animals do. Yes, I'm, I'm not yeah. saying, you know, plonk your... Yeah. Don't put your French bulldog in with the baby in the cradle. Yeah, like... Like, keep, dog... keep, them, keep them away, keep them supervised, but yeah. you can still have both. Yeah. But watch your baby like it's a fragile baby and watch yeah. your animal like it's an animal. Yeah, yeah. be a responsible dog owner. And a responsible adult. And a responsible um, parent. It's not that but, difficult. Yes, uh, Aunt Sarah is not responsible because she immediately ditches her cats downstairs in a basket and, yeah, which and is like, shoes the that... dog out of the room. It, by the way, in saying that she carried these dog, these cats in, in like a bag. It seemed like a little like picnic basket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not it's, an it's got okay the two little to... flaps, doesn't it? It's, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's very much a picnic basket. Not an okay uh, way to travel. Bring your cats. Yeah, but even well, if yeah, they but are, I mean, if the cats weren't okay with it, would they have actually been in it? Because I don't know if you've ever tried to keep a cat in something they don't want to be in that's got two uh, points of exit. I've mm-hmm. put cats in in like travel bug ba- uh, cages before. They don't like it. Well, it's not impossible. You well, yeah, to... but if it, that, that that it wasn't latched, you just need to be quick about. It. <laughs> you, yeah, well, no, I'm saying uh, yeah, you can put a cat in. Uh, yeah, but if you leave it open, yeah. the cat's not going to stay in it. I mean, her immediate reaction to a dog is to attack it. So I don't, yeah. I don't, I can't imagine what she does to the cats. Yeah, and the cats just immediately fucking trash the place. Yeah, yeah they try and eat the fish. Yeah. I, oh, another Very thing that I really that made me made me laugh. Yeah, <laughs> is the is the fish kept well? No, <laughs> it's just a basic ass bowl with. It doesn't even look like a goldfish. It looks like an angel fish, which is like. Very inappropriate. <laughs> Anything that depicts things just in a bowl, yeah, that's not good. That's the. Uh, <laughs> uh, that there we go. Fish that's the fish bit. Yeah, that's been fish um, with Dan. Dan fish Back to Helena really... for the cats. <laughs> <laughs> so, the um, the cats get her to. They, there's like they have this tug of war because the the goldfish bowls on a table runner. So they pull it, and then the dog's trying to pull it back the other way. So they just let it go, and the fish bowl spills. And then she's trying to put the the fish back in the bowl, and the cat's just in the bowl with its mouth open, and she puts the fish in its mouth, yeah. and, it, and then she's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> and then takes it out again. Um, but yeah, they like shred shit. the curtains, they knock stuff over, and then eventually, like they they crash into like a screen or something, and yeah, um, makes a whole lot of noise. Aunt Sarah finally is like, "I should check out the literal earthquake tornado well, going on downstairs." It's yeah. when they were this like, "House, I'm watching." It's when they were like, oh, it's an, and a baby, so I need to go, there might be milk near the baby. Yeah. And the lady's like, you stay the fuck away from that child. Yeah, like, you are giving bad vibes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do not go near my baby. Lady's like, you stay the fuck away from that child. I'll fucking rip your faces off. That's when the aunt's like, oh, lady or bad dog. Yeah, and, and then takes lady out to get a muzzle. Um, Which is so fucking cruel. Insane. If I yeah. left my dog with someone, Either of them, and I came back, and they were like, "Oh, I put a muzzle on them because they were barking." I'd go fucking spare. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'd, <laughs> I'd be yeah. so fucking angry. And I'd be like, "Oh, so you didn't int- you didn't keep the dog and the cat separate? No. Oh, and then yeah. you got mad at the dog when it chased the cats inside, unsupervised, in its house, <laughs> in its house, with no introduction. Yeah. Okay. And you put you a wouldn't let the dog on. in with the baby. Okay, that's well fair enough if you're not there. But oh no, even when you were there. Yeah. Okay. Did I you check to... the dog for a walk? No, I to get a muzzle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the dog, the 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 the, the pet st- um, store owner, like cannot handle the dog either. Yeah. Like oh my god, surely like part of his job if he's selling these awful muzzles is to at least put them on the dog's face. Yeah. Like in She's some like, instances, she trashes the pet store, which I'm like yes. Yeah. But she runs off. And yeah. this is where she's yeah she becomes a stray briefly. Yeah, and yeah, she gets chased by tram. a couple of dogs, yeah. big dogs. Well, she gets she she gets chased down these really dodgy roads, and then these horrible, nasty street dogs come after her. 
And, um, yeah, yeah, that's such a vicious fight. That bit have, yeah, and then yeah. and then um, the tramp comes in like defends her, and the fight is brutal. Like these these yeah. three like gang up on him, and he like he has to get full like hackles raised, like growling fighting. Yeah, I had to turn it down at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I had to kind of skim through this bit again. Dogs were getting very stressed. Uh, and, but yeah, uh, no, it's a surprisingly visceral fight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's kind of clear that they'd watched, like, the people animating this had actually watched some dogs fight or something. Yeah. Although there was a weird shot in it, and I, it kept replaying in my brain, where there was, like, it was quite frantically shot, and, like, there's a lot of, like, close-ups and fast-moving stuff. And then there's this one shot where he just, like, bites down one of the dog's legs, like, four times. Yeah. And he's just like, nang, 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 nang. <laughs> and then it just kind of continues on in chaos. Yeah. But that one shot really stood out to me. <laughs> it was, um, yeah. So she, yeah, he defends her, and then he's like, "Oh, let's go and have dinner." Yeah, he gave her a nickname. He gives her a nickname in Pidge. it. Right? He's like, Pritch. What was it? Pidge. Is it Pidge? Pidge. Yeah, Pidge. Pidge. Think, yeah. The whole Sounds for like it. ten minutes, I kept thinking, like, why is he calling a bitch? Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, get coming with me for some Italian dinner. Bitch. Yo, bitch, let's go to the zoo. <laughs> Kick out of this. <laughs> I get that it means female dog, but that feels really yeah. inappropriate <laughs> for a kids' film. Yeah, but like in the 1950s, was that just the name for me? Yeah, that's probably yeah. Just but, the like, but yeah, it was. It was Pidge. It took yeah, me a, a couple of goes to understand that because yeah, he um. To get the muzzle off, he takes her to the zoo where a beaver gets it off. I love the zoo. The the beaver's really cool. I love. Did the, you like... not feel like there were some racist connotations to the apes? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that was bad. Hundred hmm. percent. Um, the the alligator was also quite funny. Yes. Um, the <laughs> it's like just the thing is like, oh, can you? Oh, the alligator can help, and she just sticks her head into its jaws. <laughs> the alligator. Like, Hold the fuck on. The alligator with the most like horrifying voice <laughs> in the yeah. whole film. He's like, can you help get the muzzle off the alligator? It's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she just puts her head in his mouth, and he's like, whoa. <laughs> just like Al, the alligator comes out like, no, no, no. <laughs> Like the most demonic voice you've ever heard. And then they go and find the beaver, and the beaver's got problems. <laughs> the be- well, the beaver's pretty obsessed with blocking the dam. That's which true. is pretty accurate beaver behaviour, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that he has a very, very whistly lisp. And I like it because it's, for once, not a racist stereotype. It's because he's got big teeth, it's because, because he's, he's got- a beaver. Because he's a beaver. It's a species stereotype, but it's a true one because yeah. <laughs> you know that's okay. Yeah, it was nice. It was a it was a comfortable reprieve from the racism. Yeah, um, but yeah, so he's he's desperate to to chop down, move this log, and they're like, oh, we've got a log shifter. Yeah, and, you're uh, a log mover. Yeah, so and he and he's he's thrilled about it, and then they sort of team up and do this little weird sales pitch together, and it's very cute. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, once they once he you know gets on the log, it definitely moves the log, but it pulls him along with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he's the like, goes that flying. Was <laughs> Damn, that was good. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, he's he's stoked. Yeah, it worked really well, so he's happy. Yeah. Um, well, and then yeah, have... they go off uh, <laughs> for for their dinner, and they go to Tony's. And, and... Oh, yeah, this is the famous bit. <laughs> this is and, yeah. Oh, funny. it's still so sweet. It is. They have when some they... spaghetti and meatballs in, uh, in an alleyway outside of an Italian restaurant. What I love is that he originally they were going to give him another bone, and then yeah. he's like, "Oh, he's bought a girl." He's bought a girl. <laughs> Let's have a date, and it's made very clear that animals can speak to each other, humans can speak to other humans, but they they can't speak to each other. I do like how when humans are around, the dogs don't talk to each other. Yeah, yeah, I and really if like a human that, talks either. to a dog, the dog barks back. Yeah. But there's no like there's no scene where there are humans and the dogs talking to each other. Yeah. I quite liked that. I liked that kind of detail. But yeah, imagine working for Tony. <laughs> and that guy working for Tony, he's just like Oh, I'll, he's I'll like, get... why you br- he's like, why did you bring out these bones, you idiot? He's like, Bones? Why bones? <laughs> he's like, Because they're dogs. <laughs> what do you mean? So like, no, we're making spaghetti and meatballs. He's like, Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like dogs probably shouldn't eat that much spaghetti. <laughs> shouldn't have. Although, my dog fucking loves spaghetti. She's real weird <laughs> about it. She gets all shaky about spaghetti. 
<laughs> she's real strict, and for some reason, she's real weird about uh, prawn crisps as well. Oh, <laughs> uh, and and anything crunchy. Looking strange. I don't know why, but yeah, I just I like. Does she like I guess spaghetti and meatball? Yeah, <laughs> which you'd have yeah, to make um, from scratch. Unsurprisingly, because, like, you're not meant to give them like garlic or anything. Yeah, you're not meant to give them <laughs> spaghetti. Well, and as we meatball. as we discussed <laughs> previously, there's no garlic in bolognese. No, but it's but onions I'd... as well, isn't it? Only yeah. there's a lot of stuff in Bolognese you shouldn't get for. Yeah, I think if you know, if I if I had an Italian restaurant and I saw two dogs in the alleyway, I wouldn't think I'm gonna make them some fucking meatballs. No, I love that. No, not just that. He, he's like, I'm gonna make make them forget meatballs and the guy's like, You're the boss. Yeah. <laughs> fucking weird. And then, so, and then the um, guy's like, let's play an Italian song. <laughs> it's the same guy that does the voice of Jock that does one of the Italian voices, and he yeah. also he so he does the he does the bull and the policeman. Um, ah. And then there's also, but they just had this guy, this other guy, um, George, um, who comes in and just does the voice of Tony. So I was like, oh, right. okay, so he's probably uh, got like really good accent but like italian accent or something never been to italy from what i can tell nope and yeah it's from nebraska hmm. yeah oh actually no originally from the ukraine or from ukraine huh uh, but yeah uh but they, they play a song for these two dogs as they eat pasta together yes in a very sweet scene where they do they, they do the famous like spaghetti, spaghetti kiss thing. yeah and they're, they're both the sucking meatballs. on the yeah and the little yeah. snoot boop. Yeah, now imagine that, but like realistically, how dogs eat. <laughs> well, yeah, that'll be a fight. <laughs> yeah. No, I want the last bit. No, I want the last bit. <laughs> or maybe that's just I'm just used to watching how rats eat. Some dogs eat like that. Yeah. Yeah. I have to be very quick. If I give my rats anything, it has to be cut into four equal pieces, and I have to try and give out both all four pieces at the same time. <laughs> Otherwise, they will fight, and they will fight mm. over one piece while I'm waving another piece in front of them for the other one to take. Like it's yeah. Once they've both decided that it's theirs, there's very little I can do. How are they to know that you're going to give them them that other piece <laughs> that I'm pushing into their face, being yeah, like, no, stop fighting. But um, yeah, the fucking. It's very cute. It's, it's so sweet. And why that guy is singing to dogs, I don't know. <laughs> With a, a it's a slow like, night at the restaurant. <laughs> a restaurant. I even assume a restaurant full of people. Oh, yeah. Own. And they're, like, they're looking at their watches like, oh, God, we've been here for 35 <laughs> when, minutes I, and they still I haven't brought out the spaghetti. What's order that? Order spaghetti when? and bowl. <laughs> oh, your, your spaghetti and meatballs will be out just in a second, Mum. Uh, actually, uh, hold the torta. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give your meal to the dogs. <laughs> just the waiter comes back in where's the spaghetti and meatballs and they're like oh he's outside singing to some dogs dog it. <laughs> the dogs outside got it which dogs the dogs that the owner is currently singing the owner and head chef <laughs> the dog, are currently the dog the head chef ships <laughs> he's currently singing with and playing violin too anyway, so eventually she goes so she has this wonderful date essentially yeah they yeah. end up sort of spending uh, the night sweet. together yeah. <laughs> they lie down together. They, yeah. Uh, and then she goes home. They definitely fuck at some point. Well, as he's taking her home, he gets distracted chasing chickens. Oh, yeah. And they get chased, and that's when she gets grabbed and taken to the pound. Because he, it, Tramp runs off, and he thinks Lady's right behind him, but she well, isn't. She's got got. Tramp's, like, never been caught. Tramp yeah. can get yeah. out of, and that's his, his thing, is, like, he can get out of any situation. So then we meet Peg and Bull and is it Boris? Obviously, the it's gonna, definitely going to be Boris. The the Russian one is is Boris. Yeah, um, there's so many little dogs in the the pound. Yeah, I uh, another thing crying. that another thing that I remembered wrong was I thought that they were howling. There's no place like home. Oh. Um, they're not. They're just howling. Yeah, they're just howl. Yeah, it's Still a really sad. mournful. Yeah, yeah. Another they're all bit sad because they're in the pound them. and they're going to get killed because it's the fifties and. Yeah. So we have the Russian yeah. stereotype, the British stereotype, and the Mexican stereotype. Yeah. 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 Also not yeah. good. Yep. Yeah. The best one being particularly bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, a horny dog. Yeah, they all talk about how the tramp's an absolute babe. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, he's he's a yeah he's a total rake. <laughs> yeah. 
and um has like they're like oh he's amazing he never gets caught but his, his one weakness is 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 bitches <laughs> his, his <laughs> babes his girls his one weakness is taking the babes out for spaghetti and meatballs <laughs> <laughs> i re- i'd have loved it if they were like his one weakness tony's spaghetti and meatballs <laughs> He do anything for that. He doesn't like the girls. He just, he just the only he knows way he gets he the can... spaghetti if he takes a girl. Yeah, <laughs> he wants that sp- damn spaghetti and meatballs. Um, so Sarah, Aunt Sarah comes and she actually picks up Lady because I was thinking at the time because I couldn't, re- I couldn't remember how the plot went at this point. No, uh, I thought that Sarah wouldn't come and get her. I was actually quite surprised that she does, and she then, but then she chains her up to the kennel. Which yeah, is I guess she has to come what... and get her because the actual owners are getting back like. That night, yeah, yeah, well, and she yeah. does actually have a license as well. So yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's one of those things where it's like, <laughs> yeah, just, this woman is evil as far as I'm concerned. I don't she trust is. her at all. But um, she can't. She has to save face with mm. assumedly her brother and or sister, not and or or sister. Hopefully, <laughs> although you know, 1950s posh, they might be. Yeah. yeah. So oh yeah, so she oh she meets Peg as well. Like Peg's the like. Yeah, she has kind of prostitute vibes. Yeah, it was definitely it's not like... just me, right? I, I, I'm not reading yeah. too much into this animated dog. It was I? definitely <laughs> like based on that archetype. Yeah, so she's 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 got locked up for like uh, soliciting dog sort of street. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's based on like that archetype of character. Yeah. 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 Um but yeah, she she goes home. Um well, she yeah, she's locked outside. The tramp comes along, but well, she sort of tells Scott uh Jock and Trusty what's happened and then the tramp comes along and she's like I don't want anything to do with you because of all these other women that you've been with. Yeah, she's pretty humiliated when she finds also, out that she's just one of a string of many. Also, yeah, like, she's his way to, to get her... spaghetti, you know. <laughs> also to her she he abandoned her. Yeah. yeah like yeah. he did just run off. But yeah, all the other people that all the other dogs, people. Yeah. Um, and maybe, she's but... like, "Go away! I don't want you anymore." Yeah. Fuck a And um, and the other, I like that the other two get pretty, like, possessed. Oh, they're right well. or like, die. If, yeah. <laughs> if, <laughs> they're like, right or die. Is this is this guy troubling you? Yeah. And the, and it's like we can make him leave, which is hilarious because they both kind of look like they're in their like late sixties. Yeah. <laughs> they're right <laughs> and die. They're great. But then the rat comes in. The most. But not just a rat. The most villainous-looking rat. Yeah, you've the ever rats. Seen. We the first, we see a rat at the start that's pretty evil. But this second, yeah. this this rat is when the rat's back. Like, yeah, and I somehow the most love, evil-looking rat ever. Yeah. I love rats, but these rats were pretty scary. This the one, not rats. The one rat. One, is, one, one rat. It's a fucking big rat as well. He does, it is he does the full like villain pose as well. Where he's like, oh, he's like hunched over. Yeah. Yeah. Pure red eyes and just yeah. yeah. It's like there's no. I, I was gonna say there's no humanity to it, but like because like the the dogs have personality. Yeah, it's and not. Humanity, they're not anthropom- like, It's not an anthropomorphized rat. The yeah, rat doesn't speak to them. The rat yeah. is just a scary a baby killer. Yeah, villainous, evil villainous rat, which is so yeah. strange. So but the lady's like, trying to. The yeah. big villain of this film is a a nameless rat that we never yeah. really see. <laughs> Mickey Just Mouse. turns up at the end and <laughs> tries to kill a baby. I guess. Yeah. Um. But yeah, she, lady starts yeah, barking. Yeah, lady's at the trying rat. to bark. Yeah, she's like trying to warn Aunt Sarah, rah, 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 but rah, rah, rah. she's just not listening. Yeah. So Tramp yeah. goes in to help. Lady manages to break free. They kind of chase in the rat around and Tramp's knocks the crib over that the baby. It also chaos. takes Aunt Sarah yeah. so fucking long to come into this room again. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Tramp, Tramp's like causing chaos trying to catch the rat. And the rat, yeah. in the weirdest scene in this entire film, jumps on the crib and like looks like it has a knife to kill the baby <laughs> for a second. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. the way it like stands on the edge, like, eh, why would this rat be after the baby? <laughs> what motivation does this rat <laughs> have to e- kill the baby? That's what evil rats do. Yeah. Well, rats don't get spaghetti and meatballs at Tony's, <laughs> so they have to eat child. It's the That's next true. best thing. <laughs> it is so, it's so strange. It's like, why is this rat beelining <laughs> for the child? Um, but yeah, he pulls the, the rat away and knocks the, and knocks the crib over and... Yeah, the baby's crying. He manages to rat. kill the rat, but it's like hidden under something. So when Aunt Sarah comes in, she's just like, "You dog." Well, she just are... sees like chaos room, 
Yeah. Knocked over baby pen and is like, oh. Yeah, to be fair, I wouldn't immediately jump to kill a rat knocked over a crib. No, I oh, wouldn't. No. Either. <laughs> the most um, villainous rat you've ever seen. Yeah. So she locks Lady in the basement and, and has Tramp sent off to the pound. Yeah. Um, well, she's like, I'll call the pound. And then her. This is what. This kind of confused me. Because she was like, I'm going to call the, the dog catcher and get you caught. Um, and then her phone rings. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like, she asked yes, for a callback. The dog. I don't. I can't remember. It's just Do like, you, maybe it's one of those ones where you speak to the operator and then you hang up and then the rat catches. Maybe call, not rat catches. The, the dog catches call you, call just, you back. I don't know how the fifties telephones no. work in this re- weird place that doesn't really exist. It was, it was just the strangest conversation because she was like, "I'm going to call the rat catcher, the dog catcher," and then her phone rang and she went, "I don't care if you've been up since midnight." It's like, what's what conversation is she having on the other end? Well, maybe she left a message. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so, dog yeah, catcher they got comes back to her and, and they're like, him. "Can we get them later?" And then no, but they're like, "Oh, we've been after this one for a while." And she's like, "I, I think you should destroy it." Yeah, psychopathic. Yeah, it's a really brutal way to. She's terrible. She is awful. Yeah. But just as he's leaving, the parents the come back. The parents come uh-huh. back. The family John Deere come and back. Darling. And they no, see. They're like, they see. They see the way the lady's acting. They're like, "What the fuck has happened?" And they're yeah, like, they oh, trust "Oh my the god, dog. the baby." She was like, "This dog was in with the baby," and she's like, "My baby." Well, because like the aunt's like, yeah, the dog's been terrible. The f- the two parents are like, wait, she's trying to tell us something. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very vindicating in that moment. Yeah, that she like her parents are back and they love her. <laughs> and, um, and they actually listen they follow, and understand yeah, what lady wants. And, like, they find they find the rat has gotten into the cart. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they're like, what a good dog. And she's like, yeah, fuck and you, then they, aunt Sarah. They realise that. <laughs> Uh, the two dogs uh, outside realise that... The, her two friend dogs realise that actually Tramp was a good boy. Mm-hmm. Yes. The entire he was a good time. Boy the whole time. He risked, yeah. him, he risked himself to save the baby. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they off. go yes. after the... Yeah. Uh... They, they need better locks and like stuff. Like yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they basically crash the... Because it's a horse-drawn car, isn't it? Yeah. i crying at this point, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's really... Because Trusty is like... You know, oh, he can actually smell, and he gets the scent, so they can chase after the uh, crying. But the, the thing, the most, by the way, the most realistic reaction to being told something is when um, Jock is like, "We know you don't have a sense of smelling well. We know it's gone," and he just like sniffs and goes, <laughs> and then continues sniffing. Like, That's such a yeah. realistic reaction <laughs> of like, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> yeah. But they, they frighten so the horses and the right cart now. tips over and then by the time Lady and that gets there, Trusty has gotten caught under the wheel. Uh, it's and crying. it's like, oh no. Oh in my tears. god, yeah, there's that that killed me. I actually said no, like really loudly yeah. at, hugging, the, at my screen at that point. Hugging my dogs at this point. <laughs> so, I, I'm like, it's it's 1955's Disney. I don't know if that it, dog's going to be okay. Be it. This like, might be it. There's a, a fucking killer rat on the loose. Anything could happen. Yeah, I was looking at my dogs like, you'd try to save each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dora would try to say Freddy. Freddy couldn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy yeah. just couldn't give a shit. He's a chaos dog. Yeah, but I'm then it, for it it kind of fades to another Christmas, and Tramp yeah. now lives with the family, and they've got puppies, and he's got uh, his license. Yeah, he's yeah. got a license, and they, and they have... Jock, Jock comes along, and so did Trusty because yeah. he didn't die. And his yeah, broken he's got leg. a broken leg, yeah. and. The the dogs are very like Disney children, where all of the, the boy dog <laughs> looks like Tramp <laughs> and the girl. Because as we know, <laughs> dogs are that's... very, very. Um, that's how they look. Yeah, that's boy how dogs it works. look like the dad. <laughs> it's re- and girl famously dogs like hard to interbreed dog species, like dogs. Oh yeah, just <laughs> famously work. difficult. That's why, uh, yeah, Labradoodles are so complicated. Yeah. It's 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 so difficult. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah all... I, I do love that there's the three little ladies and the little tramp. He's, yeah, he's an absolute scallywag getting into mischief. Oh, he's so chaotic. And he's like so... at one point, Lady just picks him up and puts him in a box. Yeah, I love watching Lady just pull him off things. <laughs> yeah. She's like, no, not there. Completely wordlessly, just like, oh. It's so uh, sweet. It's, a, it's a great scene. film. I mean, yeah, racism aside. It's so it's so beautiful. Uh, it's like animation is stunning. The backgrounds are stunning. 
Yeah. And you could cut out the racism and not notice. Oh, yeah. None, yeah, just have, like, you know, a couple of regular cats and it's fine. Yeah. A couple of normal cats. We are tabbies. Yeah. We are cats. <laughs> tabbies and we speak English. Yeah. Cats from the movie Cats. Yeah. <laughs> no, that could be upsetting. That would be a whole. Let's not go direction. out of the frying pan into the fire. Let's, oh, that's uh, true. let's just try and have some fucking normal cats. Just a normal cat singing a normal cat song. Yeah, and like, yeah, appreciating this for like what it what it was at the time as well is um, you know, it's it's a yeah, real good animation for. I can't believe it's nineteen fifty five because it looks so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah, story that's classic like. Like story's the fine. story's so nice. Yeah, the story, the the, sto- the story's like it's nice and compact. Yeah, yeah. it's a really um, short film as well. Like, oh well, yeah, because it's hand drawn. Everything yeah. is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a long just, animated film at this point. It's just yeah. a nice, warming sort of like friendly story where they're yes. just all lovely and kind, <laughs> and it turns out nice. This is good. Go watch yeah. this film. If you've not seen it, you really, you really should. It's you uh, listen now. This is like a classic animated film. Yeah, I was, I was watching it when it was like a drizzly afternoon, and I was feeling kind of sad, and I was just like, "This is perfect." Yeah. Gather as many dogs as you can and watch this film with them. <laughs> Don't watch it with your pet rats; they'll give you funny, no. judgmental <laughs> looks. There, there's other rats. films for that. There, there are better rat films. To be fair, sometimes when rats stand up on their legs, on their back legs, they do do that villainous pose. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe if they have evil glowing yellow eyes, they look villainous, but mine just look kind of goofy. Uh, see, I had <laughs> it's like They rats. just do that, like, what kind of, looking at them on their hind legs, and it's like, what can you smell? Yeah. <laughs> what are I you looking d- for? Or, I oh shit, what rats. are you going to try and jump at? And they had bright red eyes. Oh, well, maybe. Mine are all... Nice little Dumbo rats. Yeah. With flat heads, and three of them have curly fur. <laughs> and Aww. they're just adorable. One of them's got one stripy whisker as well. Just, you know, Aww. added cute factor. But, I mean, trying to get a photo of his fucking whisker is not happening. So yeah. you, you'll have to just <laughs> trust me on that. Yeah. But um, it is very cute. Yeah, um, yeah I, had, I had such a nice time watching this film yeah. with it. Like a nice relaxing afternoon with me dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, just, I'm just yeah. in tears, I... and they're just unbothered. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, when I thought when I thought that the the dog had died, I yeah. was like genuinely like uh, really upset. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, it's a Disney film. It's a Disney film. They're not going to kill. It's the a Disney dog. film. It's fine. They don't show you that all the dogs in the pound from earlier didn't make it out. I didn't <laughs> want to mention that, but yes, we never yeah. see that. I was really hoping the end would be them and like all the dogs from the pound. Nope. Oh, it sort of does the hundred and one Dalmatians thing, where like their houses, they've just basically set up like a home for yes, I'd have loved that. Dogs. There was no reason for them not to do it, but for yeah. some reason they had to let us know that every dog in the pound is dead. All of those. So dogs how many dead. dead dogs out of ten? How many implied that's a, dead dogs? It's a terrible scoring system. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> that might be the nicer. worst we've come up with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> think of something nicer. <laughs> how many times did you uh, hear the word um, pidge? <laughs> out of ten, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a nine bitch out of ten for me. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it it I can't give it ten out of ten because the racism is atrocious. Yeah, um, and it's it detracts from the film and it's it's painful to to watch and it's it's painful because it's that racism that I didn't know was racism when I was a kid and yeah. I actually yeah. grew up and there's a lot there's there's like periods in my life where I thought that that was okay. Yeah. Um, and I didn't understand it, and I'm sure I, I think if I did understand it, I wouldn't have enjoyed it. But I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Um, I would sing the songs. I'd do the dances. Yeah, it's. I didn't. I didn't have a. I didn't understand why it was bad. But I mean, I think it's good that Disney doesn't like edit them. I know it, they yeah. remade it, and I'm sure they didn't include. <laughs> I'm sure they something imagine? else for them. <laughs> the 2019 yeah. live action version <laughs> <laughs> like like we were saying with um aristocats like they could have easily edited that bit out because it was unnecessary but in this <laughs> the, those cats are kind of integral to the plot that's the that's the issue so, so like... oh they i was thinking like so what what would you what cats could you replace it with that were like stereotypical like recognizable cats in the 2019 one it's devon rex's yeah so I'm guessing, do they have like really thick 
<laughs> like just, um, he needs thinking, southwestern Devin, wet, wet country west country accent <laughs> <laughs> ooh our lady we're gonna eat your baby <laughs> but the same like still a song <laughs> we, are... <laughs> we are from Devon <laughs> <laughs> we like cream tea <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I think I'd give this a um, six Somerset cats. <laughs> like, yeah, nice, nice time, nice animation, just like a chill, just a nice chill little time, you know. Like it had some nostalgia for me, but not not loads. Um, like I say, I, I remembered watching it, and I remembered always finding it sad, but that was sort of about it, really. So yeah, it's a, a nice, nice time, a good little film to to put on if you just want some. I'd say light, but it. <laughs> It's, it's pretty, not that pretty light. dark at parts, yeah. Yeah, I think I think I'd go the same as as hell and go nine out of ten because, well, as soon as that fir- I didn't think it was this nostalgic. As soon as that first note hit of that first song, are oh, mainlining nostalgia. Like I was, <laughs> all of the, the whole film came back to me in that moment. Yeah, yeah. And this it, is it's one we had on video. I, yeah. I I couldn't tell you how many times I saw I saw this film as a bit. As you know that young like baby and kid, warm nostalgia feeling you get. Yeah, it's a cuddle. Oh, it was a little film cuddle. It was that moment, and I was like, "Oh, this is it." <laughs> and I was watching it with my dogs. It was very nice, very lovely. And I think this film would be good anyway. But watch it with as many dogs, nine dogs you can get a hold of to watch this film with. <laughs> Out of ten, that's great. Yeah, go to a shelter, adopt nine dogs, watch the film, take them back. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it's mean for the dogs. Um, yeah. Absolutely. They know what's going to happen now they've seen the film. Yeah. I just, I just had the thought, like, if one of our dogs gets out and, uh, like, makes friends with another dog, we would also would definitely adopt that dog. Yeah. This is how we and end up with more, more and more dogs. <laughs> God, if our dogs... We'd have so many dogs if, if they kept doing that. Yeah, this is not a good film for, like, learning how to take care of a dog. Oh, they're, they're ter- all terrible at it. Yeah. Everyone is bad. I mean, I, but what do we see her eating? Uh, like at the start, it's like she has a donut and oh, coffee for breakfast. Coffee? She <laughs> they gave coffee to a dog, and then he gives her like when she comes, he comes home, he gives her a treat. It looks like a strawberry bonbon. Yeah, not <laughs> like, chocolate. Like mm. <laughs> They're really bad with this dog. <laughs> but yeah. just coffee to a puppy is such a bad move. <laughs> Oh, this puppy's really energetic. I wonder if the donut and coffee we give it every morning is <laughs> having enough. Nah, it's only a little bit of coffee. The the shits on that dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, the lady in, never shits. Insane. <laughs> they need multiple newspapers. <laughs> I, put, I put newspaper down, and then I remembered we gave him coffee, so I put the whole thing on the whole floor. Is covered. <laughs> yeah, like a university dorm that's been pranked. <laughs> <laughs> Covered the whole floor. Ah, oh, delightful. Uh, yeah. Well, with that, I've been Dan. <laughs> I've been Michael. <laughs> I've been Helena. Uh, you can find this podcast on social media at Hilton Pod. That's at H I L T M Pod. Uh, we're on Discord as well. If you want to come and let us know your nostalgic memories from this film, did this one make you cry all the time? Yes. Um, at what point did you cry? How many dogs film? did you watch it with? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, we're always up for seeing people's uh, pet pictures as well on the Discord. Yeah, yeah, put up pictures of your pets. That's always a good time. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll I'll put up some non-threatening rat photos. I'll share (laughs) my dog photos. Helen will have a picture of a rat that says, "We promise we won't eat a baby." (laughs) (laughs) It's on a little sign. That rat wanted that baby. There's just there's just one of those signs with like the erasable incident signs where it's like days since we ate a baby. (laughs) (laughs) Two. Uh, we also have a Patreon where you can support the show, helps us keep going, um, helps us yeah, enjoy some nice nostalgic movies every so often. Um, what what are we doing for the Patreon this week? We're going to save all those dogs from the pound. Like, yeah, those dogs are fine, they're safe. They're they're we're going to we're gonna animate a sequel where we adopt those dogs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Just it's, so it's we fully hand-drawn. Safe. Yeah. <laughs> they're living a happy life. Free. They're good. They're great dogs. They're doing well. Yeah. That's it. Having no read the plot the summary for the yeah, for the 2019 <laughs> version, they do seem to adopt. Like they get it ends with like the 
their neighbor dogs uh owners adopt some of the okay good um other uh, other strays so yeah i imagine that might be the only good thing about the 2019 one i'm not gonna watch it no yeah, not no. at all <laughs> but happy in the knowledge that those dogs did get adopted absolutely and you patreons made it happen I heard like five claps then, but that there's that. only three of us. You've got yeah. a problem. <laughs> I, I <laughs> you might be haunted. And then cracked my knuckles. It was probably that. Oh, <laughs> okay. You might, yeah. you might just be haunted as well maybe, maybe. by a very, <laughs> very friendly ghost. <laughs> <laughs> They're making you. Give me a round of applause. Yeah. yeah. You've got the ghost I, of I an audience. That. Oh no, that's that's king of comedy right there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is you going a bit insane. <laughs>